Here are 30 most commonly asked data modeling interview questions, along with detailed and informative answers. 1. What is data modeling? Answer. Data modeling is the process of creating a visual representation of data and its relationships to facilitate understanding, communication, and efficient database design. 2. What are the different types of data models? Answer. A. Conceptual data model represents high-level concepts and relationships. B. Logical data model defines data elements, entities, and relationships without considering implementation details. C. Physical data model describes how data is stored, including tables, columns, indexes, and constraints. 3. What is entity relationship or modeling? Answer. Our modeling is a technique for visualizing and representing entities, attributes, and relationships in a database. Entities are represented as rectangles, attributes as ovals, and relationships as diamonds. 4. Explain the difference between an entity and an attribute. Answer. Entity represents a real-world object or concept with a distinct identity. Attribute describes a property or characteristic of an entity. 5. What is a relationship in data modeling? Answer. Relationship represents an association between two or more entities. It defines how entities are connected or interact with each other in the data model. 6. What is cardinality in data modeling? Answer. Cardinality defines the number of instances of one entity that can be associated with the number of instances of another entity. It is expressed as 1 to 1 1, 1 1 to many 1, n, or many to many m, n. 7. Explain the concept of normalization. Answer. Normalization is the process of organizing data in a database to reduce redundancy and dependency. It involves breaking down large tables into smaller, related tables, while maintaining data integrity. 8. What is denormalization, and when is it appropriate? Answer. Denormalization is the process of intentionally introducing redundancy into a database design. It is suitable for situations where read performance is crucial, and the trade-off for increased redundancy is acceptable. 9. What is a data warehouse? Answer. A data warehouse is a large, centralized repository that integrates data from various sources for reporting and analysis. It is optimized for querying and reporting rather than transaction processing. 10. Explain the differences between OLAP and OLP. Answer. OLAP Online Analytical Processing, used for complex queries and analysis in a data warehouse. It is read-intensive and optimized for reporting. OLP Online Transaction Processing, used for transactional operations. It is write-intensive and optimized for data modifications. 11. What is a star schema and a snowflake schema? Answer. Star schema, a type of data warehouse schema where a central fact table is connected to dimension tables in a star-like structure. Snowflake schema, a normalized version of the star schema, where dimension tables are normalized into multiple related tables. 12. What is the difference between a primary key and a foreign key? Answer. Primary key, a unique identifier for a record in a table. Foreign key, a field in a table that refers to the primary key in another table, establishing a link between them. 13. How do you choose between a surrogate key and a natural key? Answer. Surrogate key, an artificial key, often an auto-incremented number, used as the primary key. It is preferred for simplicity and performance. Natural key, a key derived from the data itself, such as a social security number. It is chosen for its meaningfulness. 14. Explain the concept of data redundancy. Answer. Data redundancy occurs when the same piece of data is stored in multiple places in a database. Normalization is one way to minimize data redundancy. 15. What is a data mart? Answer. A data mart is a smaller, focused subset of a data warehouse that is designed for the needs of a specific business unit or department.
16. How do you handle slowly changing dimensions SCD in a data warehouse? Answer. SCD handling involves managing changes to dimension data over time. Techniques include type 1 overwrite, type 2 add new version, and type 3 add new attribute. 17. Explain the difference between horizontal partitioning and vertical partitioning. Answer. Horizontal partitioning divides a table into smaller tables containing the same columns, but with subsets of rows. Vertical partitioning divides a table into smaller tables containing a subset of columns. 18. What is a surrogate key, and why is it used? Answer. A surrogate key is an artificially generated key used as the primary key in a table. It is used to uniquely identify records and simplify joins in relational databases. 19. Describe the ACID properties of database transactions. Answer. Atomicity ensures that a transaction is treated as a single, indivisible unit. Consistency ensures that the database remains in a consistent state before and after a transaction. Isolation ensures that multiple transactions do not interfere with each other. Durability ensures that the changes made by a committed transaction persist even after a system failure. 20. What is the difference between a conceptual data model and a physical data model? Answer. Conceptual data model represents high-level entities, relationships, and attributes without concern for implementation details. Physical data model specifies the physical implementation details, such as tables, columns, and indexes. 21. How do you approach designing a database schema for a new application? Answer. The approach involves understanding the business requirements, identifying entities, defining relationships, normalizing the data, and considering performance requirements. 22. What is a fact table and dimension table in a data warehouse? Answer. Fact table contains quantitative data facts and foreign keys to dimension tables, facilitating analysis. Dimension table contains descriptive attributes related to the facts in the fact table. 23. Explain the importance of cardinality in relationship modeling. Answer. Cardinality defines the number of instances of one entity that can be associated with the number of instances of another entity. It is crucial for understanding the nature and constraints of relationships. 24. How do you decide on the appropriate data types for columns in a database table? Answer. Consider factors like the nature of the data, storage requirements, and the expected range of values when choosing data types. Use numeric types for numeric data, date types for dates, and so on. 25. What is data governance, and why is it important? Answer. Data governance is the practice of managing and ensuring the quality, availability, and security of data throughout its life cycle. It is important for maintaining data integrity, compliance, and decision-making. 26. How do you handle a many-to-many -many relationship in a relational database? Answer. Use an associative table junction table that includes foreign keys from both related tables. This table resolves the many-to-many -many relationship into two-one-to-many relationships. 27. Explain the purpose of a data dictionary. Answer. A data dictionary is a centralized repository that stores metadata about the data elements in a database. It includes information about data types, constraints, relationships, and usage. 28. How do you optimize a database for performance? Answer. Optimization techniques include proper indexing, denormalization. For read-heavy workloads, query optimization, and ensuring the appropriate use of data types. 29. What is the significance of referential integrity in a relational database? Answer. Referential integrity ensures that relationships between tables are maintained. It prevents actions that would violate the integrity of foreign key relationships, such as deleting a record with dependent records in other tables. 30. How does data modeling contribute to the overall success of a software project? Answer. 
Data modeling provides a clear and visual representation of the data requirements, helping stakeholders understand the structure and relationships within the database. It guides database design, ensures data integrity, and facilitates communication between developers, analysts, and business stakeholders. These questions and answers cover a variety of topics related to data modeling, providing a comprehensive overview for interview preparation. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.